Hi folks, this is Ben Coleman from House of Music. On my channel you will find guitar and theory lessons, performances, gear reviews and other music related stuff. So welcome to my channel. In today's episode we are talking about the minor pentatonic. Today I will show you a very special view on the minor pentatonic and I will show you the secret weapon most professional musicians are using to think about their scales. It is one of the easiest and most useful ways to learn and to understand your scales and chords in general. But first of all, some examples. What can you do with a pentatonic? What the hell is this pentatonic good for? In the first example I will play only pentatonic notes, nothing else. following example I will superimpose one pentatonic per each chord. Next one, I'm adding some notes to the pentatonic like the 9th and the 13th. So let's come back to our basic pentatonic and the lesson. As I already said, I will show you today the secret trick of a professional musicians. And this is what I call the number system. Most or nearly every professional musician I've been working with is thinking exactly in this way. So there must be a reason to learn this number system and believe me, it is very easy and it will open many doors for your understanding of music and theory and your guitar. And of course if you are an advanced player you might get some benefit out of this video too. But if you are looking for more input just take a look into the description box or visit my channel and check out my videos. And of course if you like what I'm doing here for you give me a thumb up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because only then you will be informed if a new video is coming up. Let's get started. So first of all I want to give you some ideas how you can use a pentatonic anyway. We are taking a look on the A minor pentatonic. You can play it over chord changes in the key of C major respectively A minor, C major or A minor. These are the chords of C major. You can play it as well over chord changes in the key of G major 
respectively, a Dorian. And what is very interesting, and this is what a lot of rock musicians are doing, especially Angus Young from ACDC, is using that a lot. He's playing the minor pentatonic above a Mixolydian, respectively D major. And maybe you can use it over F major, respectively A Phrygian. So let's take a look to the fingerings of the scale. If you already watched my Apeggio video, you will know that we could divide the fingerboard into five basic positions. Position number one in the fifth fret, position number two, position number three, number four and number five. Of course, there are more possible fingerings, but they will be just combinations of these basic five positions. The one is the root of a scale, in this case the note A. The B3 is the minor third, in this case the note C. The four is the note D, the fourth. The fifth is the note E, and the minor seventh is the note G and then root again, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third. So if you are learning those five pentatonic shapes, you should learn the position of each root, one, 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 root, 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 rooty, rooty, root, root, of each third, of each fourth, of each fifth, of each minus seven. Okay? This isn't that difficult because the sequence order is always the same. Root, minor third, fourth, fifth. And if we are taking a closer look, you will realize that there are only a few building stones, only a few geometrical shapes, and you'll find its equivalent or analogy for sure in the most of the other positions as well. Like this. Root, minor third, fourth, fifth. One, minor third, fourth, fifth. Root, minor third, fourth, fifth. One, minor third, fourth, fifth. Root, minor third, fourth, fifth. One, minor third, fourth, fifth. Root, minor third, fourth, fifth. One, minor third, fourth, fifth. And because of the B string, the shape differs, is a little bit different. One, minor third, fourth, fifth. 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 Some more shapes. So if you are learning those fingerings, you should at least know where the root sits within the shape. The root here, root again, root again. And it's very, very useful to be aware of the function every note has got within the scale. Like this is the root, this is the third, this is the fourth, the fifth, the seventh, the root, and so on. Because only then you can add notes to the scale, especially if you're playing major blues, you might want to add some notes like the major third. Go from the minor third to the major third. 
all the sixth, all the so-called blue note, the sharp eleven. And if you don't know where your fifth, your fourth, and so on sits, you won't find the notes you want to add. Root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third. This is maybe the most common scale most players know. Next one. Minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth. Next one. Fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth, fifth. Next one, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh. And the last one, you could play it up here in the 14th position or in the second position. I will play it in the second position. It's easier to see what I'm doing. This is the minor seventh, the root, the minor third, the fourth, the fifth, the minor seventh, the root, the minor third, the fourth, the fifth, the minor seventh, and the root again. All right, folks, that's it for today. I hope I could give you some valuable information. And of course, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. Very soon there will come up videos step by step, growing more advanced and more advanced. And of course, feel free to comment below. So have a good time and see you soon. Bye.